观众。现在我们在呃一个有名的 art gallery 跟 Raphael g u t o s r a p h a e l 就是从呃 Belgium 过来的。呃，我们今天晚上也看他的绘画。r a p h a e l we like to ask you, can you describe for us、uh, the idea in 25 words or less of your paintings that we're seeing at the exhibition? <laughs> in 25 or less.、Um, The work is very、um, comes from a place of very deep resonance, and it's a it it's very difficult to say that in just a few words. But I it it's almost like making abstraction of anything narrative, anything representational, to arrive at the essence, which has to do pretty much with the breath, for lack of a better word,、with、and the breath. the breath and all plays between.、Um, If I, if you see a lot of my work is vertical,、uh -huh. it's very much the place between heaven and earth, and us as human as the link in between. Okay, and that's、I、kind of what drives the work. That's what drives the painting. I'll explain very quickly. Uh, 他说的他绘画呃，好像用用呼吸的的的意思 ，like breathing. 而且呃，有很多 vertical 的 aspect， 就是从下面到上面有有 distance， and so it's supposed to symbolize 就是呃呃，人的跟天的呃差别 and the relation also. That's really interesting. Another thing I notice is on your paintings. In addition to the painting itself, we see dots like metal dots every foot or so. Well, that I would say is really part of my vocabulary for the last 15 years, and I've had that question a lot. And if I have to really explain it and put a name on it, I would say、I'm, my work function at the intersection of the spiritual and the cultural. So the the dots and the grid system being really the imposition of thought on on the primal. Instinct, for lack of better words, that contrast between the the cultural, the human cultural, and 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 the absolute. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. 很有意思。他的意思就是那个小点，呃，就是就可以说是 represent 呃人做的文化，而且他的 painting 就是比较自然的 ，be more natural in relation to the cultural too. Well, I've grown up. You know, growing up in Belgium, you're exposed automatically to a lot of art and a lot of devotional art. And I came from a place where the Flemish masters were very important.、Um, so I had to go as a very young artist. I had to go to Los Angeles in order to find complete anonymous and 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 a really blank slate on which you can sort of create your own disharmony. You know, to to this disharmony. In other words, like your own disorder,、mm -hmm. you know, and make abstraction of everything that I had in terms of art history, in order to move it forward. So each place that I've lived in taught me a lot, and I think the last decade has been sort of distilling everything to arrive truly at what became my own voice. <laughs>